You are familiar with the websites of Thingiverse, My Mini Factory, to get your STL files from. But did you know that you can also go to Thanks? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get files from Thanks here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary, and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. Well, sites like Thingiverse and My Mini Factory I've been using for a very long time since the beginning of my 3D printing career or my 3D printing hobby or the things that I do with the 3D printers. Well, there are some other sites that you can also get your SDL files from, like Thinkercad, if you designed your own thing, then you can also get STL files from that. But if you are not so artistic, not that I'm very artistic, but if you want to have something special, like a bust or some fancy model or some really cool projects, you will go to Thingy first and you select your model and then you are going to download it. Well, that site is very famous for doing that. Also, one other website that is very popular is My Mini Factory. On that site, you can see a lot of files which, which you can buy to support the artist who designed this. But also there you can find many things that you can download for free. But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how Thanks works. Because for me, it was a little bit different than I was used to see on Thingiverse and my mini factory. But behold, I'm going to show you how you can get SDL files from Thanks. So one of the things that we can see on a site like Thingiverse is that there is a 3D viewer. Well, Thanks has also a 3D viewer. This 3D viewer, you can use your mouse to pan and zoom around the 3D model. One of the other things you can do is changing the color. Yellow, blue, or maybe black, or maybe some other colors as well. To see how this model looks like in different kind of colors. Besides changing color, here you can also change the orientation for from the side, from the top, maybe from the bottom or some other angle. You can also change different kind of render. So for example, if you don't know this and you click on it, you will get, for example, something like the new Iron Man helmet. This helmet is having more than just the STL file. It has also the step file and also the X underscore t file i don't know which kind of file that is but the step file is one of the files that you you can use in fusion 360 or some other cat designing software that can read step files but that i will leave for another video in the near future so but how does it work well if you are going to select one of the models that is on the site for example the Chaos Core Tech Modest Day figure. Well, you can rotate it, you can pan, you can zoom, you can do all different kind of things before going to download this file. Like mentioned, you can change different kind of color, blue, and as you can see, you can rotate it, you can zoom it, you can pan it. I don't know how every direction is cold but you get the idea also the orientation you can get 
from the front, the right side, the bottom, uh, bottom left side. But so once you are happy with your design, you click on download model. And in this case, it is an SDL file. So then you are going to save it on the destination where you want to get this file sent to. So now next to Dingy First and my mini factory, maybe some other sites that you are using. Now you can also use Thanks. Well, in the future, I will go more deeper if this is also something that is requested by some of you as, as a viewer, then I will go and go much deeper into the details of thanks. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed and Fixem Dude. Thank you guys for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. Your support will help my channel. If you are still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card there's some recommended videos worth watching. And while you are there, check out the merch in the merch store. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary, 3D prints. Bye bye. Maybe you are familiar with the sites of My Thingy First. My Thingy First? Where you get your STL files, 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 files. I'm Zachary, and this website. <laughs> and this website. So that was a short video for using the site Thanks. Well, sometimes videos doesn't have to be that long. I don't know how long that this video is going to be. Maybe it is going to be long and you are, you are going to kill me in the comments. So let's not do this. First, I'm my mini factory. You have it now. You have it now. You have it now. So now next to things, next to thingy first and my mini factory or maybe some other sites that you are using, you have another website to, you to your disposal to use awesome STL files right off the internet. Yeah, did I say that? Yeah, I did. And I burped. <laughs>